I'm Matt Rothschild, the editor of the Progressive Magazine, with my progressive point of view, which you can also grab off our website over at progressive.org. The coincidence of Barack Obama's second inaugural coming as it does on Martin Luther King's birthday invites reflection. Yes, we've come a long way on race relations since 1968. I, like many people over 50, never thought I'd see the day that a black man would become president, much less reelected president. We've matured as a nation, at least on the surface, on the issue of race, though you don't have to dig too deep to find the old ugliness. It's right there in the Republican Party. It's in our resegregated schools. It's in our income and wealth disparities. But Martin Luther King was concerned not only with fighting racial injustice. In the last five years of his life, especially, he set out to attack poverty and to confront what he called the giant triplets of racism, materialism, and militarism. He understood the linkages among them. He grasped the injustice of capitalism. And he, deep in his bones, was committed to nonviolence. Still today, capitalism and militarism reign. And President Obama hasn't done much to curb the excesses of capitalism, and he's done absolutely nothing about militarism, but expand its reach. Of all the judgments that a Martin Luther King might make of our current president, that one, I'm afraid, would be the most harsh. I'm Matt Rothschild, and that's how I see it.